and welcome back to the Happy Hip series. I'm Dr. Amber with the Physio Room. In the last few weeks, we've been talking about the outside of our hips, the glute muscles, and what to do if they're too tight, kind of pulling you out. Today, I want to move into the inside of your thigh and talk a little bit more about those adductors. And if they're tight, what can be causing that? So. As we kind of talked about with your hip flexors in the very first video, there's a difference of feeling tight and working versus actually being shortened and tight. And so we want to check and see which one they are. Even if they're just feeling tight, they may not actually be shortened and we may just need our core kicking in a little bit more to take some of that load off. Those upper fibers of your adductors come up, attach to your pubic bone, and then share fascia with your pelvic floor muscles. So if they are tight, they're pulling, they can rotate that pelvis forward a little bit, which is gonna put your lower abdominals in a stretched position and make it harder for them to work. So we're gonna check out those adductors kind of using basic butterfly stretch. So we're gonna have you lay on your back with your knees bent and your hips out. And we're gonna see where those hips lie. Now, a lot of times there was always this, that one person in PE class that they could never get their legs to go down. We wanna see where yours fall just when you're in a relaxed position. Now, a lot of times this is gonna pull your pelvis into that anterior pelvic tilt. Rotating up, you're gonna have a little bit more of a gap through here. So we wanna see when you're in an anterior pelvic tilt where those, um, your legs are gonna fall versus when you're tightening through your pelvis, you're engaging those abdominal muscles, kind of pulling everything up, and then if you're able to get the same range of motion or not. When you're engaging through here, if you're getting less range, that's gonna tell us that there's not the mobility through those adductors because you're creating that extra range to go further forward down by that pelvis rotation. So if you notice that that is your case, and that's what you're seeing when you test it, then that's gonna tell us we do wanna work on that adductor length. So there's a few different things that you can do. The butterfly stretch, just like you were testing, is a good one. You wanna bring heels together, feet together, work on bringing down, and then you can do a slight lean forward. Try and keep that back flat so you're still keeping good posture with it and stretch. Nice gentle stretch. It doesn't have to be something that's super painful just so your body feels that awareness of it. And then also I like to have people do one with a straight leg so that those muscles are attaching below your knee so you're still getting that stretch. You can either do it sitting, kind of leaning forward, or basic kind of lunge from before pulling in through here, getting a stretch on that straight leg. So give this a check, see if your adductors are just feeling tight and your core needs to do a little bit more of the work or if they are shortened and some stretching would be good. If you have any questions and want us to check it out, as always, give us a call at the physio room.